Colombian biologist Yesenia Madrigal Bedoya explores the genes and conditions that make orchids flower, and finding answers could help create new sustainable cut flower markets and protect the species being over-harvested in the wild. Madrigal, a PhD candidate student at University of Antioquia in Medellin, Colombia, says her current project is focused on the genetic basis for the flowering of Colombian orchids, that is, the genes controlling the transition from vegetative to reproductive phases. Orchids are one of the most wonderful and diverse ornamental angiosperms, flowering plants, but their vegetative phases can be excessively long, rendering them unwanted in the floral cut global market, she says, adding that she also looked at the key environmental cues involved in triggering flowering. If we are able to identify candidate genes controlling floral transition, we can set up the basis to understand our biodiversity and manage it for potential sustainable exploitation, Madrigal says. With about 29,000 species, orchids are one of the most diverse groups of ornamental plants within the flowering plants, angiosperms. Colombia has about 5,000 species, with some species threatened by over-harvesting of wild specimens. Madrigal says the long-term objectives of exploring the genetics of Colombian orchids are twofold. At present, the orchid floral trade is restricted to only three species of Asian origin, there is a poor standardization of optimal flowering conditions for other species with ornamental potential and the trafficking of exotic species in the illegal market is associated with the massive extraction of wild species. Madrigal says one goal is to bring more varieties into the trade global market with desired features, reducing the impact on wild populations and contributing in a strong and forceful manner to the conservation of these plants. Another goal is to study the the evolution of flowering genes in parallel to speciation rates and adaptation to the plethora of conditions like altitude, temperature, light, precipitation and relative humidity present in Colombia's Andes mountain range. Madrigal is from a country town called Gerardota, Antioquia, a 40-minute drive from Colombia's second biggest city of Medellin. It's a place with enormous natural wealth, but which has been heavily impacted at a natural and landscape level in recent decades, she says, all my life I have been interested in nature and in asking and answering questions, like every scientist does. Madrigal says although all nature is wonderful, she's always been attracted to plants. My grandmother loved them and had beautiful ones and I always felt admiration for them, so, when I met my mentors in my undergrad studies, I realized that botany would definitely be my focus, she says, adding that she went on to study the evolution and development of plants. She's now a PhD candidate student at University of Antioquia in Medellin.